really delighted to be able to host Luis uh, Macias, in his, uh, who's here from Spain, to kick off uh, a North American tour in Los Angeles. He did a performance here at the Film Center, I guess it was like in 2012, and this time we're delighted to be his host, but we're in the same space. Um, and we already have one change to the program, which uh, Luis can, or shall I introduce it, or do you want to come up and mention that. We'll do that in a moment. But he's a wonderful artist, uh, working with a collective uh, as well. Uh, so I'm spacing on the name. Why can I not get it in my head straight before we started? But anyway. Uh, Crater. Crater, thank you. And, um, and you're going from here to San Francisco and to other points, but doing both handmade films and, as you will see, performance events multiple projector and to say hello here's Luis Macias. Um, uh, I want to present uh, one performer, uh, Spectral Landscape is a performance which involves uh, three slide projectors and handmade uh, um, slides uh, processes in our uh, lab, in Crater Lab. Um, uh, there are a change in the program because uh, something has happened. And, but I will show, after this performance, I will show a program of uh, members of Gata Lab, uh, films made in the old lab. Um, and the kiss in between. And, and the kiss, one film of mine that is uh, programmed in the, in the original program. Uh, I don't know what to say about the films. I prefer don't say anything about it. Um, maybe you enjoyed it, and maybe we can talk uh, after the show. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you to thank you Adam. Thank you Dicky. Thank you uh, Rocio. Thank you Echo Park and Los Angeles Film Forum. And enjoy the program. I neglected to mention, but I also want to express my thanks to L.A. Ola and Rocio Mesa for co-sponsoring the event. They're always bringing wonderful <coughs> films of the same sort that we love uh, from Spain to Los Angeles, and we're delighted that they were able to help promote tonight's screening. So the program notes are a little off now. Uh, the first event, the double 60 millimeter projector, won't be happening due to, you know, a broken things. So Spectral <laughs> Landscape, which is third, will be first, the Kiss will be second, and then a series of films from the Crater, Crater Lab will continue, and they're not on the program notes, but we'll talk more about them at the end. Uh, thank you all very much, and enjoy the show. We'll get these couple people seated in first, and then we'll start it off. Okay, with, uh, with bring, bring, bring to the lab, and a little bit community, uh, making some uh, screening, some workshops, and you can get to share and to, to make films and to show films. And, and we did some screening, our residents, uh, workshops, and this kind of films. So I, I saw uh, this uh, eclectic film, it uh, rep represents the, the people of the lab, you know? different person, different personality, different films. So you're doing hand processing and all that as well? Yeah, we, we normally we did hand processing, but we have also a processing machine for print, to make prints, not to uh, process uh, uh, column made. But uh, and I, we have a contact printer, a optical printer, and different equipment. Mm -hmm. But uh, normally we, we work uh, by hand. Funny. Are there other people in the group doing mm -hmm. performance work as well? Yeah, yeah, some of them, some of them. Yeah. Adriana Vila is one of the founders of the, of the collective. Also, yeah, uh, Alfredo Costa Monteiro is the musician. That, uh, the uh, second film, like this, is, uh, is, is the film. He is the musician of my film. The key is also the musician of the performance I did, also the musician of uh, any questions yet? Please, David. Can you talk about the process of making the kiss and how all those machines, all those different kinds of formats interacted over in time? Yeah, um, well, uh, the kiss is like a, 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 a 
with the process is the important and I, I, I take this idea to to shoot uh, with different cameras to try to to, to see what happened uh, shooting and it's a it's a step with different format I, I bought a copy of the case original copy from uh, I don't remember, uh, uh, original copy, negative copy from the, the case. I shoot it in, I projected it in 35 and shoot in 16. Hand processing, shoot, uh, projected in 16, sh uh, shoot in 9.5, and Super 8, and Real Coil, and Betacam, and Umatic, and Mobile, GoPro, 4K, and back to 35 with the original Lumiere camera. And <coughs> this kind of process to use 24 formats. So a given instance of it might have been shot a dozen times over through different formats to arrive at where it is? Or is each one of them shot on a different format off of the original? I don't understand the question. So there is, is each of them projecting the 16 on the screen and then shooting it to a video format or a Super 8 format? Or do you shoot from 16 to Super 8 and then shoot the Super 8 in uh, red camera and then shoot the red camera at another camera. Yeah, I, I projected the, the result of it, uh, the previous step yeah. and, and shoot in the next uh, so format. It's always building up another layer. Yes. <coughs> and it's like, it was like a challenge, you know? Well, what, what, to see what, what, what happened, you know, with the disintegration or well, there's a J.J. Murphy film, right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah, it was inspired for, uh, uh, I don't remember the name of the film. Oh. Print Generation. Print Generation of uh, I'm Sitting in the Room from uh, mm -hmm. Lucia. Yeah. Yeah. Inspiration for this film, yeah. Now, do, now, does the lab have a Lumiere camera? Where did you find? I sleep a week with a Lumiere camera in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I know, uh, a man that have a very important collection of camera and projectors and blah blah blah. No? I, I use this camera. He modified the edition projector for to shoot this this project. Yeah, oh, that's pretty wonderful. I was uh, working uh, some years trying to find different formats like real to real camera or or umatic camera. Yeah. It was nice uh, process. Yeah. What was the? Uh, <laughs> please. Um, I really like the first performance. Is there any, uh, I guess, like practical reason for the three blades in particular, spinning first? So, or, like, uh, or like any like specific reasons for the three blades? I don't understand. Oh. So, sorry, my English is not very good. That's okay. Uh, what is the reason for the paddles? The three blades. Right. In front of the, or the weights. Ah, projectors. Ah, the idea is like make like a flicker, mm -hmm. but uh, 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 this alter, alter, alter the uh, the different image. And mm -hmm. Okay. Always in the screen there are two images, always, but and not always the same. When I was watching, I was like curious if it was creating a specific frame rate or something because in the beginning it was a little slower. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but even some slide is uh, like a 3D because there are some uh, double slides in the same. Uh, mm -hmm. So there are different uh, mom moments, and the idea is also in also like in the keys work only with a, one image. It's like this. Uh, uh, it's like a, um, it's a fla flower, mm -hmm. you know? and like print in different uh, processes. And then, t what were so the source slides for the performance? What and did you f you photographed all of the slides then? Yes, yes. It's, a, it's only a, one photo that I take uh, and uh, I process in, in color and make copies and copies and copies and different and negative of the negative of the negative of the positive. Mm -hmm. and, and different and beautiful colors appear. It's, it's, uh, for me, it's important uh, always in my <coughs> films or my performance the process. You know, I like start some idea and see what uh, is going on. Yeah. 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 Ye
So how long, for example, does it take to work out this particular performance? Oh, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, two, two months. Oops. I don't know how to count the, count the time, because yeah, sometimes you work uh, a week or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, this performance I did the uh, first time in five years ago, and it's, uh, it changes every time. Mm. In what ways does it change for you? Uh, at the beginning, you use, uh, I think, four kind of flowers, but uh, I use this flower for <coughs> another project. Uh, I reduce the uh, events. Uh, and I added this, uh, like this uh, organic uh, image at the beginning. Uh, I think it's now it's. <laughs> it does moment. Please. I noticed that, that thematically in both of your works, the, the projection piece um, and the kiss, um, or the projection performance and the kiss, <laughs> and the first two films from Crater Labs, that there, there seems to be a theme of the spectral or the use of cinematic technologies to conjure the ghostly. Um, there's you know something very reminiscent of you know, sort of late 19th century experiments, right, in, you know, uh, using photography and early cinematic, you know, prototypes to sort of conjure, you know, a supernatural presence. <laughs> um, and I'm wondering, yeah, if there's an explanation for, you know, why that joins your work with some of the other artists working in Crater Labs, or, yeah, or what, what that theme kind of means to your own practice. Simplified questions. Spectral yes. imaging, yeah. Um, the relation ghosts, mm -hmm. you know, the the in the first film from the other filmmakers that we saw, I can't remember the title of it. There are the sort of orb-like mm -hmm. lights, um, Black Black um, Black and then of course in the second one, there's the mm -hmm. you know the ghost of her. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but certainly, I feel like in the kiss, you almost you're you're re photographing of that. Film really turns that uh, that you know early those early cinematic images into these sort of spectral presences that almost become like you know yeah. heat my, sensors or something. So yeah. In my case, I'm very interested in the cinematic uh, uh, processing and the spectral image, and as you told. Uh, uh, and also interested in the cinematic device, how to make uh, things, different things, uh, exploring the, the cinematic, uh, I don't know, the shutter, uh, the flicker, and the, the light. And maybe the, the key is, uh, for me, the, the, the transformation of the light is important, how the light is transforming in each step. <coughs> no? uh, at, the, at the end, it's like, like a light, no? pixels or, or line, or, uh, I don't know. Yeah. And of f the performance of Alf the film of, Al of Alfredo, I think is is the same. It's a, a film editing in camera, shooting the, the light of the sun, and I think for him it was the same. The process to try to 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 capture some the light without a, a topic, only only to to explore. Device and the light. <coughs> Could you talk about the sound in your two works? The sound, what generated the sound, and, and um, how you, and how you modulated it, or or what was the, the in, concept of in your two pieces? In the, the both pieces, the those pi both pieces, the sound is from Alfredo Costa Montero, a musician, Portuguese musician, and. Uh, it's very easy to work with him because he know a lot about experimental film also. Uh, in the case of the performance, uh, I, I heard uh, music from him and I asked for this kind of music, for sounds. And uh, the sound is two, two similar uh, sounds of uh, this from him. And he put together one in one channel and another in another channel and mix. Mm -hmm. and it's a two sound that I love from his work and we put two channels. 
and in the case of the keys was very complicated because uh, even him uh, imagined the film in silent but uh, and I would ask him to to make some sound but uh, he don't like to be like uh, literal with the sound uh, repeating uh, making the same idea like me with the sound putting the sound and repeat and repeat and but at the end he find uh, a process to uh, the opposite process <coughs> than me difficult to explain uh, in English but uh, uh, yeah. Finally, we use this sound for for the keys, which is the you know when the when the projector turn on the sound that without uh, anything this uh, smooth, yeah. yeah, and he process uh, uh, with uh, cutting the high and low levels, mm -hmm. cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was the process more or less. That was really good because at a certain point early, <coughs> it sounds, when the image begins to go, it sounds almost as though the sound image is, the, the picture image is spreading into the sound head and making that. There were a couple of moments that seemed sync yeah. as, if the, as if the image is spread over the sound head. Mm. That was very effective. Mm. That had two parts, but it's mm. still good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like the, the sound and the image is transformed in the yeah. same way. Yeah. But uh, not literally in the process. Yeah. <laughs> also, I wanted to know one of the 16 films, there's no title. Whose was that? Ah, uh, Frasada. Frasada? Frasada. It's the uh, last one or previous? The the one of the Alhambra Palace. Palace. Yes, the one of the Alhambra Palace. Yes, Frasada. Uh, from Edu Filippo, Eduardo Filippo. Yeah. Anybody else tonight? Okay. Well, I wanted to thank you very much for coming and starting your tour with us. And thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you.